Hi, my name is David Adams, and I'm our manager of system integration and tests here at Fort Robotics. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our endpoint controller. So here we have an example of the Fort endpoint controller, otherwise known as the EPC. You can see just by looking at it, it's a very ruggedized container. It's suitable for many different types of environments. And what I'll do today is just kind of walk you through the different aspects of the controller. The first thing you want to do when you receive your endpoint controller is to go to fortrobotics.com start to register and activate your device in Fort Manager, our cloud application. That's where you'll configure and manage your device throughout its lifetime. So you can see here we have our integration port. This is uh, denoted as J1 on the enclosure. It's what you're going to use to integrate the endpoint controller with your machine, and that's how we connect up and uh, do all the safety controls and so on. The endpoint controller has two IP networking ports. This port here, J2, this one is the management port on the endpoint controller. So this is what you're gonna to use to configure it and update firmware. And then the other port, J3, is what you're gonna to use to connect to your network wherever your system is communicating. We also have two other forms of communication, uh, wireless radio. So we have uh, the Bluetooth radio here. This is from J4. This is a dual Bluetooth and Wi-Fi port. And then we also have for longer range communications, uh, the ISM radio port. That's this top port here. That is for much longer range, outside, etc. And you'll see here, right in the center of the Fort endpoint controller, there is the nameplate. The nameplate has all the identifying information for your controller. So you see uh, right at the top, its model. Uh, we have different models supporting different radio types. Uh, you'll see its part number, its serial number, as well as a data matrix code where you can retrieve all this information yourself. The endpoint controller can be used in many different ways. It can be mounted on your machine as a receiving device to receive safety commands, or it can be mounted in your control center and act as a sending device to send safety commands. What you would do in that case is integrate your endpoint controller with an emergency stop button or a light curtain or other safety device to act as that input and send that safety command to the endpoint controller that's mounted on your machine. One sending device can control up to 30 receiving devices. For more information on the Fort Pro series, visit our website at fortrobotics.com. Thanks for joining us.